Hello, everybody. It's Sumer again. Uh, so Ubisoft just opened up uh, Artifact Assault for the beta people, and so I got together with a bunch of my clan mates. Um, everybody in this lobby is is from my clan, and for those of you who don't know, I'm part of the Happy Turrets, and you know I love this clan. But, you know, it's bunch. It's full of you know happy, easygoing people. There's no drama. Um, so if you want to join us, I'm sure you're welcome to to come check us out. Anyway, um, what do I think of Artifact Assault? Uh, I actually think it's it's actually really fun. Um, I'm surprised at how much I enjoy it. Uh, you can see we're playing as the Deacons. Um, we're going up against the Sentinels. Um, and so you can kind of... I, I've played a couple of games and I decided that I was going to uh, try an offensive profile set. You can kind of split people up between offensive and defensive sides. Uh, you can see that was a pretty clutch uh, tripwire of mine right there, <laughs> and so we're able to get our artifact back. Um, anyway, so you can split people up, I think, between offensive and de defensive, uh, you know, roles in uh, in artifact assault. And so I decided I was going to be uh, an offensive person. So I threw together this uh, this uh, profile set, which consists of smoke bomb uh, disguise. So smoke bomb, so I can stun people once I cross this barrier right here. Now I become a pursuer, and I have to stun people. Um, and I completely did not even see um, Eric right there, who gets a nice kill on me. Um, and Disguise, just so I can kind of... Because your compass desyncs when you're near the artifact. And so I'm hoping that Disguise will help me kind of sneak in and, and get the uh, get the artifact okay. Um, the other things I'm using for perks, I'm, I think I'm just using Sentry, which is to increase your lock out of sight, and then the one that's... I forget exactly what it's called. The one that's a combination of like Silent Hunt and kind of like Chase Expert. Um, I'm not using Blender. There's not really many choices for perks. Um, the main thing is I'm just not using Blender since that, that kind of gives you away. And I don't think it's really necessary for either offense or defense in this mode, um, in my opinion anyway. Um, you are now and then for my coach. streaks, I'm just using the standard three stun, three silent kill streak. And I'm using Revelation as my loss streak, so that if I get if I get killed a lot, um, it'll kick in. I think it actually does this match. And then when you go to kill the oh jeez, I walked right into that tripwire bomb. <laughs> That's great. Um, so that was a very nice kill, nice setup. Um, so if I die enough times, I'll trigger Revelation. And then when I go to kill, when I, I'm sorry, when I go to steal the artifact, I can very easily see where all the uh, where all the people who are defending it are. Um, if you're are if you're target. trying to set up like a defensive profile set for um, for guarding the artifact, I would recommend. I think tripwire bomb is kind of a must. You can see uh, my teammate <laughs> kind of distracted them long enough for me to steal it, but then I get I get roofed, and I don't even know what happened here. <laughs> it's just kind of I just kind of fall over and die. But um, I think tripwire bomb is is definitely a really nice a nice way to to defend the, the artifact. As you can see, um, Oreo, my clanmate, put that really nice uh, tripwire bomb at the chase breaker there. So it doesn't have to be right on the edge of the artifact itself. You can, you can put it where people are likely to, to leave once they grab it. Um, that comes in really handy. Um, the other thing I think I would recommend, at least in the beta, is using throwing knives. So that if someone does take your artifact, you can very easily just lock on, Master. throwing knife them, and you or someone else can uh, you or someone else can go kill them. Now, right here, I I probably should have tried to stun him, but I was actually curious what would happen if you were in a chase and then you you cross that boundary. So I was trying to I was just trying to get over to the other side and see what would happen in time. But as it turns out, I just die, and so it's kind of a failed experiment. Um, anyway, so going along here, things things are going all right. We we've scored one capture over here. Um, looks like we're cleaning up some of the people here. So I mean, normally I'm I'm usually going after the flag, but sometimes when in cases like this, I'll try to help. I'll try to help uh, take it back. It looks like my climate's gonna flank him. That was a pretty pretty nice uh, pretty nice save there. I figure I might as well go and get the grounded finish as well. Um, yeah. Anyway, it's a pretty it's a pretty fun it's a pretty fun mode. I've noticed that when you capture the the artifact though, that you get 500 points, and I seem to remember. In, initially, when they first showed videos, I thought it was a thousand points, and then I think it got knocked down to eight hundred at some point. So <laughs> you can use situations like this where my my teammate got um, my teammate got uh, killed there, and so I was able to use all of that as a distraction to grab the flag and run. dropped a smoke bomb on my way out just to kind of make sure that they weren't following me. And at this point, um, I'm pretty much home free. Um, I can get a nice score. You'll notice that you can. Um, you just there's this ring around 
the drop here thing, but all you have to do is touch the edge of the ring to either pick up or drop your drop off your artifact. Your you don't have to go to the actual middle of it. Um, okay, this guy's coming over here. Oh, I just kind of stupidly... I should have I should have known that he's gonna throw a smoke bomb. That's a nice stun. But yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I, th I think this was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm I'm surprised at how much I enjoy it. All right, so at this point, I've been killed enough times that I've actually triggered my revelation. You can see how useful it comes in when you're trying to to steal the uh, when you're trying to steal the artifact. First off, I'm gonna see if I can't. I'm hoping he doesn't notice that I just kind of not so discreetly joined that blend group, get a nice silent hidden kill. Um, take him out on my way over here. And I see that there's a few other people around, so I figure I might as well take them out if I can on my way over. But as it turns out, I think one of them, one of them left, uh, or I mean, got killed. Um, yeah, so you can you can actually get a rough idea for how many people are on each side of the barrier if you check. So right now I'm on the side where I am hunting people, and then I cross and I become. Um, I become the hunted instead, and so I'm gonna. I was gonna try to <laughs> get an extra stun on this guy, but he he wide out, um, and then I hear him get stunned nice. over here, and so I'm gonna get a stun on this guy. But I, I didn't realize that there was another person, so I get the stun, and then I get killed. But anyway, what I was saying before is you can you can use uh, when when you're hunting people, you can see um, in the upper right hand corner uh, in the grayed out portrait areas how many targets you have, and so then you can tell how many people are on your side of the map. Um, and then when you cross over in the boundary, you can use the red arrows underneath your, you know, where it says first place to see how many um, people are hunting you, and you know they're on that side of the map. So right now I think most of the other team is on the other side of the map trying to, trying to get back the artifact. And then you can see, you know, we scored, um, and I took advantage of the fact that everyone was gone to just run up and get the artifact and <laughs> right as soon as we capped it. And so now I'm going to take this kind of roundabout way to come back. But you can see all the people have come back over onto the, onto the enemy's side um, in order to try to get the artifact back. The only thing is when you're carrying the artifact like this, you, you remain a target even when you're on, um, obviously, even, even when you're on, on uh, your own side of the map. All right, so here comes everyone who is trying to <laughs> come back and, and get the artifact from me, so we can just clean it up here and send them back over to their side. So you can see um, right now there's two people on the upper right-hand corner that are on our side of the map. And so you can kind of use these things as um, y you can kind of adjust um, and get a nice uh, hidden, discreet, I think it's hidden reckless kill um, right here on this guy who runs in. Um, you can kind of use that to adjust on the fly whether or not you need more people on defense or offense. If you see all four people coming for the artifact, you know, you can come back, you, you can call out over your headset or something and, and say, hey, we need more people on defense. As far as defense goes, um, you know, using those trip iron mines is a good idea, like I said, either on the edge of the artifact uh, radius or on um, near like chase breakers where they go, okay, I just failed there. I, Tried to attack the. I tried to attack him, but it killed the civilian. Um, the other thing you can do, a lot of people. Uh, what I've seen a lot of people do is you can you can sit on uh, on a roof above the artifact, and it's really easy to just roof people as they come in to to snag the artifact. All right, so we have four caps. Uh, we're doing pretty well. Four captures, and they haven't captured any yet. So I'm going to try to get one last. We have time for maybe one or two more captures if we're lucky, but I'm going to see if I can't pull it off. So I'm going to pop my disguise so it's not immediately obvious who I am. You can see a whole bunch of them afterwards. And my teammate runs in, kind of eats a lot of the, <laughs> a lot of the attention in the landmine, and so I stun that guy, get another stun. That guy is so... I, I got really lucky that he was preoccupied with reviving his teammate that I actually had enough time to grab the artifact and run out of there somehow. Um, if they hadn't revived their teammate, I probably would have been dead. But I don't think he realized that I was... Um, that I was also in that area. So anyway, I'll, I'll run back to my base. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. Yeah, you can see, <laughs> you can see we have a bunch of people just waiting up here to to roof anyone who comes score. nearby. Um, yeah, I, th I think we, you can you can use some pretty creative uh, strategies to get at the artifact as well. I can get this guy with a hidden kill. Um, I mean, if you see a whole bunch of people uh, kind of clustered around the artifact like that, you can use there's a lot of throwable abilities now, so I mean, either a throwable smoke bomb, you could even throw, I guess, a throwable uh, tripwire mine and make them scatter at least, or I, I don't know exactly. Um, but I mean, I think the throwable smoke bomb will come in really handy 
um, in order to, to kind of break up a lot of people that are concentrated around the artifact a lot of times. So anyway, I, that's pretty much the end of the match, I guess. We, we do a pretty good job overall. Um, and I actually, I, I really, like I said, I really love this mode. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, there's not so, as much of a focus on stealth as kind of frantic, but... Um, and I think it requires a lot of teamwork to do uh, really well. So if you can, I would advise obviously getting a bunch of people with headsets on. But um, one last thing I wanted to mention real quick um, is that earlier this morning, actually, I did a dual commentary with Esco Blades uh, for his channel. And in it, we talk a lot about our impressions of the beta, um, what we think kind of went right, what kind of went wrong, um, what they kind of need to improve. And so I, I had a I had a total blast making this commentary. I mean, Esco's a really, he's a really easy character to, you know, talk to, and I, I had a ton of fun. So you should definitely go check it out. I'll leave a link um, in the description and at the end of this video. Um, there's a tiny bit of overlap, I think, from stuff I've talked about in other videos, but there's also a lot of stuff that we talk about that I, I haven't covered before. So definitely go check that out. Um, I'll be back soon with more videos from the beta. See ya.